Saturday is our last craft show for this year. Um, this is Oliver. It's my kitty. I also have Maxwell and a husband and a baby. But where was I going with this? Do I need to go to the doctor and get some like ADD medicine? I'm not sure. Like I haven't really talked about this, but um, I'm gaining weight. And before you're like, Brittany, you're pregnant. Uh, definitely not pregnant. Definitely, definitely not. It is fake Thanksgiving day. Doing Thanksgiving with Randy's family. I am making cookies because that was the request and um, you didn't see it because I was not filming then, but a bird just rammed into the window right in front of me at my face. I can only assume he saw his reflection um, and I saw him obviously fall to the ground, but I have not seen him get up yet. Doesn't mean he didn't get up, but I did not see it. So in a second, once we're done with these cookies, we're gonna go check on him. Randy is also feeding Asher. <laughs> he's about to cry because the food is not in front of his face because he's heating it up again. So if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. <laughs> and there it is. Oh dang, that is solid. No, it's not. I can see them moving. That's cool though. Hmm. Um, okay, just making sure he's okay. I see no birdie. Nope. Now that we know he's safe, uh, we have to make some pear juice. We have to juice some pears. So I'm going to cut up the pears and juice it on silent, well, music for you guys because we have Miss Rachel on the background and I feel like that's a copyright issue. Why is there a cookie gone? Huh? There's a cookie missing. I don't know. Bee was in here. Papa. This is eight apples and eight pears. Maybe six and six. Either way, that's a, such a small amount of juice. It's gonna be delicious though. We're making adult beverages with it.
morning. It's afternoon time. Just kidding. I meant to start the vlog. Why was I like half talking, half singing that? I meant to start this vlog way, way earlier as in yesterday because it is Tuesday and Saturday is our last craft show for this year. I don't know when I am going to do my next one because I've been seeing a lot of people saying like fall and winter are the only good times to do shows and if you've been following me this is going to be our third one we are doing so I only have experience in the fall and winter uh, now. I have no idea what like a spring fair would look like. I do think that it would be worthwhile going back to Oxford in the springtime when college is still in session, but I don't know for my stuff uh, if that would do well at other festivals. So please tell me in the comments if you are a fellow uh, vendor, <laughs> do you do like when, not winter, spring or like early spring and late winter and summer markets? and do they perform well for you? I think I need to start branching out. I think what my plan is, um, I just looked at my bank account and my credit cards and I'm gonna obviously still sell online. I just don't, like, I feel like I need to do more shows. I just don't know what kinds to do. I need money. I think I need to really focus in on doing more TikToks and YouTube shorts and just like being more consistent with that because I was doing so good with it and then I started my part-time job and everything kind of just like stopped except for I still do my like weekly YouTube videos which I've been really good at being consistent with that. I've had a lot of practice over the years um, but the last like four years were not consistent and my channel shows for that because I was going up 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 and now it's just like it's it's not uh it's not even on the platform it's like below so if you're here that's really surprising that you made it here thank you I'm really trying to like build this again um my shorts are doing pretty well though a lot of them um this is Oliver it's my kitty I also have Maxwell and a husband and a baby but where was I going with this? Do I need to go to the doctor and get some like ADD medicine? I'm not sure. <sighs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> today I need to weirdly pack up a ghost cup. I think this will be my last ghost cup for the year because I think I'm gonna take it offline now. My ghost cups were in my old cup and my old cups have the glass straws and my new cup designs have a different lid that unfortunately do not fit the glass straws that I have. Um, so the ghost cups, I'm not like, my words are not wording. Uh, the ghost cups, I only have one left so I can only do one ghost cup left. I'm still selling the ghost stickers for anyone that wants to put them on their own cup or if they want to do like a wine cup or something. I also have those online to sell. But the cups itself, um, I'm gonna say goodbye to them until next year and then I'm gonna put them on a different cup again. Because like I said, I switched to Libby glasses, which I love them. And the Libby glasses, unfortunately, lid-wise, because you have to buy them separately, they don't come with lids. I've only found the lids that I have right now can only fit the skinnier straws. And glass straws have to be thick, otherwise they're way too breakable. So, anywho, we have to pack up a ghost cup. I'm going to do a TikTok and YouTube short, probably like ASMR or something. I don't know. I haven't really figured out what I want to do with that one. My videos have just been very redundant, so maybe I'll try to do like a voiceover on it this time. And then we have to obviously go to the post office. And as far as prep this week, I'm not too stressed because if you saw my last video, I had a market last weekend and I prepped so much. And while it did well, um, I still feel like I have a ton of stuff, so I don't think I need to do anything. Wow, I'm bleeding. <laughs> My knuckles are cracking. Two more days till Accutane starts, so this is not a good start because I'm not even on the medicine. And that's the medicine just like completely dries you out. So we really need to put more lotion on, even though I do that all the time. 
and I need to do, I think I'm going to do a couple. I think for prep wise, I have some DTF, um, UV DTFs coming in. I have some glasses coming in. I haven't got a shipping notification on that though, so I don't think they're actually going to be in on time for me to make the glasses for the show. And I did a new print. I forget one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I hope the glasses come. Dang. Either way, I'm going to have them online because I think they're going to sell really well. They're so cute. And then I made a funny one also for any like crime junkie out there. Um, but as far as clothing goes, I am only going to do a couple of the snack sweaters. I'm going to do two and that's it. I'm not going to stress myself over making more because I have so much. And you know what? If something sells out, it sells out. That's fine. I also have my stuff online now. So I have my muscle um, hooded sweatshirt. I have my looking like a snack, like for a screen sweatshirt online. And I have my winter cup, my gingerbread cup, and then my heart print winter sweater, which those like sold really well at last weekend's market. So I'm hoping they sell well again at this one. Maybe they'll just sell out and I won't do any more for the winter. So it's really not that much. Um, I've been really cranking out my part-time job uh, because November 30th is Thursday and that's like the first early decision day when they have to start sending out um, those early decisions to college students. So I've been reading and reading and reading. And I need to clean. The house is a disaster. So I'm gonna get off talking here. We're gonna do some packing. I need to find I have one ghost cup left. I need to find it. It's like under this table in a box because I, I took it to the last um, craft fair. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I have Rihanna's ghost cup packaged up and ready. I also had Amazon. I accidentally left him outside overnight. I saw Amazon like 9 p.m. pull in our driveway and for some reason, I think it's because I was naked. I just got out of the shower. I didn't obviously go out and get the package because one, it was like 15 degrees outside <laughs> and two, I was naked. And then by the time I got dressed and ready, I forgot that he was outside. So this is uh, a present for Asher for Christmas. It's a linkamole. So it links up. He has a penguin already and they're supposed to like sing and dance together. So I just tested him. He does work. So that's good. I was nervous that it being so cold, he would be like dysfunctional now. <laughs> And I didn't realize he had bought this ugly pair of Hey Dudes. I say ugly, and you know what, if this is your style, like, it's just not my style. I say ugly just because I don't love, you'll see. <laughs> He's been wanting these for, I'm not gonna open them, they're his, but they are camo print Hey Dudes. He, for some reason, like, really wants me to start wearing Hey Dudes, and they're just not, they're just not it for me. At least not right now, as I'm wearing. 
<laughs> these embroidered cat house slippers. So you know what, take everything I say with a grain of salt because this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he's going to be so excited. I hope he got a really good deal on these. I hope he did. And then because one of you beautiful people used my ThreadUp link, I had credit on ThreadUp, $40. So like if you sign up for ThreadUp, your first order, um, if you use someone's link, you get, I think it's 40% off. And then that person gets $40 or you both get $40. It's something with a 40 in it. Um, and, and then once you sign up, you have a link that you can send to people. So it's like one of those ongoing things. So once you're signed up, every person that signs up um, using your code so that they get their like percentage off, you get $40 added to your account. So I've had two of you beauties use my code and I've gotten thread up stuff and I forgot to show you. So I <laughs> got myself something and it doesn't fit. Uh, <laughs> it's cute. It's by Skims. It's one of her workout tops and I don't know why I was like I can wear a small uh, because herself like notoriously runs small in my opinion at least. Um, so I've worn it once like it fits and everything but um, it's just like at the waist to like tight to where it rolls up up top especially right now like I haven't really talked about this but um I'm gaining weight and before you're like Brittany you're pregnant um definitely not pregnant definitely definitely not pregnant actually the well not the opposite is there an opposite of pregnant not pregnant it's the opposite so sure opposite of pregnant um I'm just like weirdly getting weight and Randall has decided he wants to go on a diet and that's great I just I'm working out, I'm doing stuff. It is holiday season. I don't think diets are uh, healthy for me. <laughs> I have grown so much in the past, I hope this stays. Um, oh, let me get my tripod. In the past 10 years, where the last five years, I have been the healthiest just in general that I've ever been. Uh, mindset, body, like physical. And I'm gaining weight. I say that I probably, I don't have a scale because I don't, for me, again, it's not a healthy thing for me to have around and I haven't had one. Um, probably in like six or so years, I haven't owned one. And that's good for me. So I only ever know like if I'm gaining weight. If I'm at the gym, sometimes I'll get on their scale just to see um, what's happening. Uh, or at the doctor. And last month at the doctor, I was really uh, not skinny. I'd say after having Asher, I lost so much muscle tone like that I ended up being skinnier than I probably should have been. Like, weight-wise, uh, the number was lower, I think. Last time I went to the doctor, I was like, 130s. And 130s is low for me. I am typically at, like, a healthy, uh, muscular, like, going to the gym consistently, which I have been. Um, I should be in, like, that 140 to 145 range is typical for me. If I had to guess, because we're guessing here, I'm probably, like, 155. That's probably where I'm at, where my clothes are fitting, because I'm usually, pre-baby, I was like a 4-6. Um, Post-baby, I've been a 6-8. I had jeans that I had purchased, they were size 8s for my, um, like, post. Oh, wow. What happened? My brain is fried. Um, right after having Asher I had some size 18 so that I wouldn't like feel like I couldn't fit in anything <laughs> and then a year later like they were really big on me so I had them up in the attic um for if we ever wanted to have another kid I would have some um jeans that were bigger <laughs> because I don't want to just get rid of something where I like I my body fluctuates like I could easily fit back into them and I was wearing sixes perfectly. That was fine. I thought I was in my postpartum, is that what I was trying to say, body? Um, and now those sixes are too tight and I had to go back, well, Randy went back in the attic for me and I would get out my postpartum jeans. 
which is annoying because I've been going to the gym at least like four to five times a week. Probably haven't had the, I would say my it's my food. If I had to guess, I it's like winter season. I think I've been trying, I know I've been trying out new recipes and I haven't been as strict on, ever since having Asher, I just haven't been as strict on myself because I don't know, I just feel like if I did that and like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm giving myself a lot of leniency and I don't think that's necessarily bad, but my jeans aren't fitting and so my spandex, my leggings are fitting tighter. I just don't look as nice in my clothes as I want to. Um, vanity, whatever. I'm allowed to feel that way. Um, so I don't, I want to lose weight, but I don't want to lose weight. I don't want to go on a diet. Randy's gained weight, so obviously we're both gaining weight. It's food. Um, he's doing like this keto diet and I'm very much against that uh for myself because i know myself i don't want to go on a diet i just want to make healthier substitutions again because that's i think what it's all about is like that balance of i continue going to the gym but um hey i don't have some like i had i made cookies last week uh, and i probably had like five or six cookies last week you know what i mean um and for dinner, maybe use less carbs because we have so much potatoes recently. So those kind of substitutes, and that is kind of a diet, but it's not because I'm not like, oh, I can't have this, this, and this because I'm keto and I can only eat high fat and meat and I'm making this up because I'm not keto. But Randy wants to go on keto and then he wants me to go on keto with and I'm like, that's not like... It's not healthy for me. I've had a very <laughs> hard journey with my health and like wellness and I've been uh, in situations where I've spiraled <laughs> and I, I don't think I would again but I don't also like want to put myself in a position where I'm going keto and like losing a bunch of weight and then really liking how I look when it's not necessary healthy for me mentally I don't know is this making sense what I'm trying to say is I have to figure out what I want to do I am doing he was so his thing he's going on so Jim Stepani it's not necessarily keto but it's what he's saying about you have to do intermittent intermittent fasting and um, they call it low carb meals like fat and you eat a fat a protein and you can have a vegetable and yes there are carbs in that but it's like low carbs and so I said you know what I will do dinners with you and I will like cook low carb with you because that is healthy for me like I should be cutting out some of my carbs but I don't want to do keto and do low carb the entire day because I am a toast girly. I love my toasts for breakfast or lunch. I did start intermittent fasting with him. It is very difficult. This is day two. You have to wait till noon every day to eat. That is very hard for me when I get up at five. So that's like so many hours of just like hunger. So you're allowed drinking. I have my green drink, um, the apple cider ghost greens is so delicious. Mm. I look forward to that every day and I'm not like I like I like all the ghost greens but like other greens not as much um uh, apple cider so good tastes like apple cider could you imagine uh, so yeah we'll see where this goes I will keep you guys updated I don't want to encourage any of you to do anything like this but if it whatever I'm doing I have not decided what I'm doing works <laughs> I'll let you know I guess um, but my plan is just to do his intermittent fasting so I can eat from 12 to 7, um, whatever I want within like my mind's rules, which is I try to be healthy in everything I pick. And then um, low carb dinners. So I'm going to need to look at some recipes. I've been on Pinterest. We've been doing recipes on that. I say we, it's mainly me. He does some wheels, but not a lot. Um, because I'm at home, so like I have flexibility in like looking more than he does. Although I do want him to start putting a little more effort into it. <laughs> because I feel like I am. And, um, ugh. Where's I going with any of this? Asher should be up any minute. How did this start? How did that? Oh, I was showing you. So, yeah. Oh, thread up. Let's circle back here. Um, so I had that. I got that from ThreadUp. 
for free because of one of you. I love you. And then I also have another order coming, but um, that one is for something else. So I don't want to show it because it's for something else. Um, <laughs> and then I also got um, another thing that just came in. So I'm not going to show it though because I think it's going to be a gift because it's new with tags and um, it's really cute. So maybe I'll show it to you when I wrap it. Uh, yeah. Other than that, we have to go to the post office. We have to clean. Oh, let's do that now. I'm going to take you guys off because I just need to like really hurry before Ash gets up. And then um, I'll probably start the vlog back up tomorrow unless something crazy happens. But from here, I'm just going to go to the gym once Randy gets home. Um. And then there's something else. Oh, I got clothing racks, two new pink clothing racks. So tomorrow, let's go ahead and put those together because that needs done. So I'm bringing them to the show and I'm not bringing the organizer. That's staying up from now on. My hands hurt so bad from tearing it apart, putting it together, tearing it apart and putting it together again. I did that four times and it, they're, ugh. It's good if you want to keep it where you are. And some of you guys, I know you take them to fairs. God bless you. I just cannot. Um, I'm obviously a baby now. so, um, And I still need to take care of this blood. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon.